What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. As you can see by the title and thumbnail, we are gonna be getting rid of some fish. And the fish that we're going to be getting rid of, the Emperor Snapper, the blue and yellow cod right there, our bumblebee grouper, and last but not least, our cow nose ray. He's right there just swimming away. A lot of you guys recommended that he needs a bigger area to swim around. This is a 3,000 gallon pond, and I do, I mean, I don't know if it looks small on camera, but in person this thing is huge, and he's got plenty of room to swim. But just to make you guys happy, we're gonna be giving him a home about three times the size of what he's in right now. This is filled up, so right now it's probably about 2,500 gallons. He's gonna be going to like a 6,500 gallon pond. I think it may even be 8,000 gallons, which is huge. So big difference for him. Obviously we can't release him back into the wild just because he's been in here and it would be illegal to release him back into the wild. These animals, a lot of people in Florida do use them as bait for sharks or they eat them because they are honestly pretty good eating that I've heard. But we didn't eat it. We actually kept him for our saltwater pond and he's now gonna be going into a way bigger saltwater pond. I got Rod from Predatory Fins actually coming up. He's got a big bin that he's gonna be loading all the fish into and taking them. He's got a big saltwater pond as well. And then our Emperor Snapper in blue and yellow cod right here. They're both just getting really, really big. And we already have two of them in the pond, an Emperor Snapper and a blue and yellow cod, which are like five times the size of these guys. And eventually I do wanna move the panther grouper, lionfish, shark, and eel into the saltwater pond once they get a little more size on them. But these guys are getting really, really big. So we're gonna give them to Rodrigo. He's got a whole bunch of fish tanks. If you guys don't already know, predatory fins, absolutely awesome place. So these fish are gonna be going to a great home. So once Rodrigo gets here, it's gonna be an absolute mission to get these fish out of the tanks and the pond. The cow nose ray is gonna be definitely a challenge, but we're gonna get it done. So once Rodrigo does arrive, I'll pick the camera back up and then we gotta get all these fish out of the tanks and the pond. Alrighty, Rod just arrived. We got a big old bin, aerators in the back here. We gotta get this big old cow nose ray out of here. There he is, right there. Alright, we got a pump right here, pumping some water from the pond into this big holding bin that the fish and the ray are gonna be going in until they get to their new pond with Rodrigo. If you guys wanna check them out and see them furthermore on Rodrigo's channel, I'm gonna have his link right down below. You can see the cow nose ray, see how he does in the future. Bumblebee grouper, blue and yellow cod, and then for snapper, he's it. Oh wow, Rodrigo made that look really easy with like a broken neck, so we got the cow nose ray. A couple years of experience. Yeah, I can tell. Looking a little small there, man. I know, I said, It's not Ooh. working out the right way, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, well, that was really easy, and I got a little bit of it on film. Wasn't expecting him to catch it that fast, so. Yeah, that was quick. So we gotta get the other fish now. Let's go do it. We're off to the 200 gallon. We're gonna try to get the Emperor and the Blue and Yellow Cotton. This is gonna be a little harsh, just because we got a tight spot to work with. All right, all right, here we go. This is it. I'm feeling it. This fish is not playing around right now. Not playing around. He's smart, dude. Go, go, go. Oh my, dude, he jumped out the net. He's not getting in the way now. He's jumped out of the net about two times. Ooh. We got a lot of water to clean up. That's for sure. Okay, Emperor Snapper is in the net. Wow, look how big he's gotten. That's insane. So pretty. We're gonna get him in the bucket real quick. All right, one down, one more to go. This guy's definitely gonna be a lot harder. He might break through this blue note. Oh yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Dude, he's strong. Those, that's the strongest fish I've ever seen in my life. Wow. Oh. Rodrigo got him. Just like that. He really does have a lot of experience in this. Yeah. Look at the size of the blue and yellow cod. Holy. Look at the colors he's changing. So he's going to turn grouper. to be just like that blue one. Yeah. He'll be literally probably, no, probably get honestly bigger than the blue one. But he'll look the same colors. All right, last fish. We got the bumblebee grouper. This guy has been in here for a while and he's finally getting a way bigger home so it's gonna be pretty epic. He's gotten huge. All these fish are like around the same size too, which is cool. Oh. Alright, his coloring is really nice. Yeah. 
Wow, you got bright yellow and a lot of black on them too. Okay. Now that right there is like um, a thousand dollar bucket in fish. Really, really expensive bucket. So look at this. Right here we have three mini versions of the fish in the pond. I don't know where they're at right now, but I think they're in the cave. Oh yeah, we got the blue and yellow cod. He's coming out right now, but all these little fish are, these fish right here, they're mini versions of the fish in the pond. It's funny Not how them. they change, huh? Like that water is gonna look I know, like and he'll actually, you'll sometimes he'll turn like a light blue, like a baby blue color, just depending on like the lighting. So right here is the bin. Rodrigo's got a whole setup going on. Got a pump, pushing a lot of air in there. Got the ray in there, and now it's time for the fish to go in. This is like a perfect bin. What do they got, like a 30 minute drive until you're back? Yeah, about 30 minutes. Then when you get there, you gotta acclimate them. Well, fish are all secured. Rodrigo, thank you, man. Thanks, brother. It is the next morning. Our Emperor Snapper, our Cow Nose Ray, our Blue and Yellow Cod, and Bumblebee Grouper do have a new home at Predatory Fins. Honestly, that was the best choice for them. And I'm gonna go over right now why we ended up giving those fish away. For a lot of you guys that do know, we bought those fish when they were really, really small. And I planned on growing them out in the 200 gallon and then eventually putting them in the saltwater pond. And that was before I got the big Blue and Yellow Cod and the big emperor snapper. So what happened was I picked up those two fish, the blue and yellow cod and the baby emperor snapper, put them in the 200 gallon, got them when they were like this big. And then two weeks later, I see an ad on Craigslist of someone having to give away their fish because they're getting too big. And it happened to be a big old emperor snapper and a big old blue and yellow cod. And I'm talking big. I mean, you guys see how big they are and obviously they've grown since, but when I got them, they were absolutely huge. So I was like, you know what? I got the saltwater pond. Let me help these guys out. Give these fish a bigger home because I'm going to be able to. So that's what I ended up doing. But then I had the baby blue and yellow cod and the baby emperor snapper left over in the 200 gallon. So I needed to find a home for them because they were getting really big. And obviously I didn't want to put them into the pond now because it would probably cause a lot of territorial problems with the fish, them being the same species and stuff. So I ended up giving them to one of my good buddies, Rodrigo from Predatory Fins. If you guys don't already know Predatory Fins, they're like one of the best fish suppliers in the world. So yeah, those fish are gonna have an awesome life at Predatory Fins. He's got a 6,500 gallon saltwater pond. So that is good news. And I'm happy I was able to give them to him because you know, we can go down there. It's only 30 minutes away from us. We can go down there anytime, film the fish, give you guys a little update on them and also check out Predatory Fins while we're down there so comment down below let me know if you guys want to see that we'll go down to predatory fins check on the fish check out rodrigo saltwater pond and maybe we can even do a video going out and catching sharks with rodrigo for our saltwater pond because he's got some bonnet heads and he knows the spots maybe we can have him hook us up and we were talking about it a little while he was here so maybe we could do that i need to see some likes on this video it depends on how bad you guys want to see it and we'll make it happen if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you give it a thumbs up i don't know how small the pond looks on camera but Everyone that sees it in person tells me, oh, dude, this thing looks a lot bigger in person. So maybe it's just like a camera thing, but we definitely can get some cool fish. I'm thinking maybe some Jack Cravels, Bonnethead Sharks, some Moonfish. I don't, I don't know. I'm thinking of, of everything pretty much. Obviously, we can't have everything, so we got to pick wisely. But I think we can put some cool stuff in the saltwater pond. Let me know in the comments down below. With that being said, we'll see you all in the next one. See ya!